The centre has sharply hiked the minimum support price for pulses by up to 275 rupees per quintal for this year to boost domestic output and check price rise. The cabinet also made a modest increase of 50 rupees in paddy MSP to 1,410 rupees per quintal. MSP is the rate at which government buys the grain from farmers. The cabinet gave its approval for launch of housing for all by 2022 aimed for urban areas. The mission also prescribed certain mandatory reforms for easing up the urban land market for housing to make adequate urban land available for affordable housing. The Cabinet has also approved stepping up of India's solar power capacity target under the Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission by five times, reaching 1 lakh megawatt by 2022. The target will principally comprise 40,000 megawatt rooftop and 60,000 megawatt through large and medium scale grid connected solar power projects. Stepping up his digital presence, the Prime Minister has launched Narendra Modi mobile app to provide instant updates and an opportunity to receive messages and emails directly from him. The Android-based application is also aimed at giving a chance to people to interact with him and share ideas and suggestions. The CBI has registered an FIR against former Union Textile Minister Shankar Singh Vaghela and six others for sale of prime property in Mumbai allegedly at throwaway prices to a private company. The CBI registered an FIR against Vaghela and others for causing 1700 crore rupees loss to the exchequer through the sale of NTC land in Parel. The Enforcement Directorate has registered two cases against NCP leader and former Maharashtra PWD Minister Chagan Bhujbal and 21 others under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Bhujbal is under the scanner for the alleged scam of Maharashtra Southern and land allotment to a builder. Telangana Anti-Corruption Bureau grilled TDP leader Vayman Arindra Reddy in connection with the Cash for Votes case. The Bureau also served a fresh notice to the party's legislator Sandra Venkata Veraya. Reddy had unsuccessfully contested the Telangana Legislative Council election held on the 1st of June. The ACP issued another notice to TDP MLA Viraya, who represents Satupalu constituency in Khammam district. Rejecting allegations of vendetta levelled against him and the UPA, former Finance Minister P. Chidamram demanded that the government should ensure that Lalit Modi returns to India to face the probe by ED on various charges. Addressing a press conference, he said External Affairs Minister Sushma Suraj's action in helping the tainted former IPL boss get travel documents from the UK was in violation of rules and a case of favouritism shown to someone she knew. Defending Sushma, Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said the help to Lalit Modi in securing British travel documents was just a compassionate intervention for a humanitarian cause. Delhi High Court has refused to grant any interim relief to cab service provider Uber to ply in the city. The High Court told Uber that it is not supposed to ply if it does not have a license for the same. The High Court told Uber that it is not supposed to ply if it does not have a license. The court issued notice to Delhi government on Uber's plea challenging rejection of its application for license. The matter will come up for hearing next on the 8th of July. UPSC has informed the Delhi High Court that it cannot include transgenders as a third gender for applying for civil service exam as the category was not yet clearly defined by the Supreme Court. The central government's Department of Personnel and Training has told a bench that once the Apex Court clarifies the issue, then it can frame rules for the benefit of transgenders which includes providing reservation for them. BJP President Amit Shah has slacked off Nari Samman Yatra from BJP headquarters in New Delhi. The Yatra, which is organized by the BJP Mahila Mocha, starts from Delhi and will end in Kolkata on the 24th of June. This Yatra will cover seven states and will spread awareness about the center's programs for the welfare of women. Mother Dairy has denied allegations that detergent was found in one of the samples of milk picked up from its collection centers. It has sent some samples for retesting in a lab in Kolkata. A day after the UP Food and Drug Administration said, it had found detergent in one of the milk samples of Mother Dairy. The cooperative said testing was done on loose milk samples collected at village level which were yet to be accepted by it. In the run-up to the International Yoga Day on 21st of June, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been tweeting information about different exercises involved in it as part of his efforts to make the event a grand success. Today, the Prime Minister tweeted about Shavasan, also known as the corpse pose. Shavasan is a simple pose that brings total relaxation. It can be performed after a yoga session to give muscles a rest or when someone needs help falling asleep at night. Either way, it will completely relax you. In Syria, at least 33 people were killed in the Damascus region as the army bombarded a rebel-held town and the rebels fired rockets into the capital. The fire came despite you in condemnation of a massive rebel barrage on Monday that killed at least 36 civilians. Control of Aleppo is divided between rebels in the east and forces loyal to President Bashar al-Assad in the west. A tiger that escaped from the zoo in the Georgian capital Tbilisi during last weekend's flood attacked and killed a man in the city center on Wednesday. The animal was hiding in a storage at a local market when several men entered the premises and the animal attacked one of them. 
The man later died of his injuries.